What is up, everybody? It is Addison Williams, AddisonWilliams.com. Link is below, but it's with a hyphen, Addison-Williams.com. I hope that you like, subscribe, and comment below on your thoughts for all of my videos that you watch, but specifically this one, I just wanted to talk about in this episode of Truck Thoughts is the reality of being able to slow down. And the reason why I wanna talk about this is because there's a lot of hype out there. I've really come to talk about it and think about it more often of the overwhelming amount of information on the internet. It's super good, but it's also super overwhelming. And the reason for that is because everybody has an idea on how to do things, top Instagram hacks, top Facebook hacks, uh, the best ways to be an affiliate marketer. No matter what direction you go with, there's gonna be somebody saying something a little bit differently. And that's okay, but I want to put it back into perspective that you need to understand where you are and not try to do everything. And I'm culprit of that, I'm victim of that. I've said yes to a lot of things that I probably should not have said yes to, but I've, after doing that, I've been able to say no to specific things that I don't necessarily need to focus on. So the reality is whenever you're looking at where you are and where you wanna go, it's not an overnight jump. It's an incremental step to say, okay, this is where I am. Do I enjoy it? Does it fire me up? Does it bring life to my life? If you can answer yes to those three things, then yes, I would 100% move on and be invested in that. But if there's a no to any of those three questions, I would caution you to be a little bit smarter with where you're spending your time. If you're leveraging your time the right way, if you're trusting yourself, your opportunity, your position, then maybe you don't need to jump to the next thing. Maybe you need to hang out a little bit and, and ride the wave and enjoy life. Because the reality is life goes fast enough and if you're consistently chasing and chasing and chasing and chasing, then you're not really investing, investing, investing. If you're always chasing, you're never fully rooting yourself in what you're doing right now. I've been in situations where I loved it for a time and then I felt the pull to get away. I felt that a couple times. It's okay to feel the pull to get away, but you have to get in it enough and be vested enough to even feel the pull one way or the other. So as you look at life, as you look at your clothes of this week, it's Thursday at the time of this recording, coming into Friday. If, you look, if you're looking at your week and you're saying, I had a great week and here's why, or I had a bad week and here's why. Then you can begin to peel back the layers and say, okay, what do I, what brings me life? What fires me up? What engages me? What brings life to my life? If you can start to answer those questions with what you're doing, the doors of opportunity will close and open accordingly, naturally. You don't have to force anything. When you begin to evaluate your life and where you are and the situations that you're in, positive things are gonna come out, negative things are gonna come out, and then you're able to make a very good decision on the next steps, whatever those next steps may be. So in, in wrapping up today's quick truck thoughts, I would just encourage you to slow down a little bit and take a break from all the noise. There are times where I don't want to listen to another YouTube video. I don't want to listen to another song on the radio. I simply want to think on my own <laughs> and relax and really understand where I am 
the value that I bring to the table, the family that I have, the opportunities that I have that are I'm currently pursuing, the job that I have that doesn't really feel like a job because it fills me up. Whenever you're in that mindset and you start to really put into perspective where you are and you begin to fill the pool from those questions that you ask yourself, that's when you're able to really take a hold of your path, your future of where you're gonna go because whenever you think about where I am, what am I doing? Am I lighting my own fire? Am I trusting myself? Is what I'm doing bringing me value, bringing other people value? That's when you're able to really peel back the layers. So I hope you have a great Thursday evening. My challenge to you toward the close of this week is to simply sit back in some silence and just evaluate what's going on with you.